Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. So here I am to share one of my newest journals. This journal was made using one of those like um, quilted pillowcase covers, which I am absolutely in love with. Um, and I'm so excited that, I don't know, the light bulb went off in my head and now I'm always now going to be on the lookout for pillowcase covers at thrift stores rather than actual fabric because number one, it's it comes as like the perfect size for a journal or two and um, sometimes it comes out cheaper than buying actual fabric. So let me share this with you. Um, this is actually a little bit larger of a journal than I normally would make. The pages are not because I, I, as you can see the pages don't go completely up to the top but like the cover is um hold on i wrote it down so the cover measures nine and a half by five and three fourths so oh it's just so lovely this pillowcase <laughs> so let's go right inside um so on the inside cover i left it blank um along with the back cover i left it blank except for my little stamp there um, and the pages, I believe they measure, I think five and a half by eight and a half. Cause I think they're all eight and a half by 11 pages, just basically folded in half. And let me sh make sure I'm in frame and wait, I think I am. I am. Okay. So let's get started. Um, oh, and all the pages in here, there is a mixture of just regular coffee dyed pages. There's also vintage pages in here and then also um, like resume paper that I use. And then lots of, uh, with the embellishment, there's also a mixture between vintage and modern, but you'll see as we go along. So in the front pocket here, we have a letter to the bookmaker or letter from the bookmaker and then a tag and it's this book belongs to and then you can it's this actually a sticker um and then you can write there and then also you can journal on the back of that and on this pocket it's the same um of the scrapbook paper that i used for the inside covers and then i just did a little layering with some actually this is i think, believe part of a doily and uh some ribbon and stuff so so here are some vintage book pages, and I just added some trim there. And this right here is wallpaper, and it was just a scrap laying around. And so I decided to add some pink lace on it and then turn it into a little tuck spot. So inside we have a vintage um, score pad paper, and I think that's for bridge, I believe. And then this um, I made with a index card and this is one of the cutouts from that book that my mom got me for my birthday and then i just ran the lace there to match the lace here and then you can journal on the back of that added just a little uh decoration there and this is this is vintage it's from a typewriting book um, and then this page here, we have a vintage postcard. It hasn't been posted, but it, um, it is vintage. And then this, I made a little uh, journaling card. So it's blank, so you can write on the back. It tucks right in there. Did a little decoration down there. Ah, love this wallpaper. This kind of reminds me of like grandma's wallpaper. And on the back, we have a little tuck spot. Um, and this, whoops, you can journal on right there. Decorated the bottom with some more of the pink lace. And we have some vintage um, office memo paper and a little, um, oh my gosh, what are these called? Flashcards. <laughs> Couldn't remember that for a second. Another book page. Here is, this is a back of uh, Tim Holtz paper. I just um, ripped it and uh, just, for decoration there. This is a, a vintage, um, from a vintage magazine. It was like an advertisement um, that they were, no, I shouldn't say advertisement. These were different like songs and poems from the 1950, oh, 1952. So I just, this one was small. I cut it out and put it there. Here we have um, a little book page and that's Sesame Street. Cause I know that's Oscar the Grouch and I forget what her name is. Is it? I know it's um, Snuffleupagus's cousin. 
Cindy? I don't know. <laughs> but I put a tab here so the person would know this flips out. And then, um, oh, oh wait, because it says Alice, but I don't know if Alice is, I think that is Alice then, not Cindy. Um, but I did uh, add a place to journal there. Oh, that's right. I, this is just a book page and I attached it to this book page here. That's right. So I could kind of extend it out. Here's some paper that I used as I was um, doing some of my sprays and stuff. So it's um, really very lightly sprayed. Here, it's a little decoration here. And then I uncovered these animals from my stash. And I can't remember where I got them, if somebody gifted them to me, if I got them at the antique um, flea market. I don't know, but they were so cool. I found them, so I started using them. I mean, this is a giraffe, but they had the monkeys, elephants, um, I forget what else, uh, flamingos, I think. But So I stuck the giraffe here. Here's, I just put a little tab up there. And I hope that I am in frame. I believe so. Here's another vintage page. Oh, this is, these are all, all the book pages are, I believe, vintage book pages. And then I added some coffee dyed paper on the back so that way you can journal on that. And it's just a little tear out. It says adventure there. Um, this is from a little children's book. And here is some paper that was sent to me as a thank you. I forget where I had ordered something on Etsy. Um, and this came as like a thank you page. There's a few pages they sent. Uh, and it's really neat. It's like a cross between like vellum, but it's not vellum. So I don't know. Um, here's a little decoration there. This one here, I know there's a few moving parts to it. So there's a tuck behind. And um, so we have those tucked in behind here. Then this is a pocket. And then I put um, some of the uh, leftover material from here as a tab. And you can write on here, you can write on there. And then that gets tucked down in there. And then this here flips out and it's a little envelope and uh, has a little writing card on the inside. Oops. So there's that. Did a little more decoration there. This is on some um, wallpaper. And I love this because it's so old that it has all these marks on it. And I don't know what those marks are, but it just looks really neat. And here, um, there's like the three tucks. So there's a tuck here, tuck here, and a tuck here. And then this flips up. So here is kind of like a replica vintage postcard. It's not vintage though. It's, um, 1993 possibly. And it's cool because it's postmarked to Jeopardy contestants. So 1040 North Las Palmas, Hollywood, California. And we will be in Los Angeles March 19th to 25th. Would love to audition for Jeopardy. Please send info on how I can do this. So Barbara was visiting California and she wanted to be on Jeopardy. So that is really neat. So that's tucked there. Here's another one of those um, index cards. And this is just a little journaling card that you can write on the back of. And here, there's um, another tab here so you know this opens. So that opens and there's a little place to journal there. I'm gonna make sure I'm back in frame and I am. Yep. Okay. Oh, here, here's the, one of the little monkeys. Very cute. Some more of the sprayed paper. Uh, added a little tab there. Um, and this, we have a journaling card that I collaged on, and then you can write on the back of that. And then, in here, those two little bits. This is um, Tim Holtz. And then this opens out into a uh, place for journaling. Oops, there we go. Make sure we tuck it all in correctly. And then I add a little bird um, button. It's kind of like a button. It's like a button sticker, a little bird button sticker. Here's some more wallpaper and nice blank page that you can write on. 
and then here is the middle signature uh, middle of the signature and um this here is a strip of wallpaper and then it created two tucks so on this side we have um, a little altered guest check and then here is a postcard it hasn't been posted but you can use it to actually write on if you want and then i just did a little decoration there on this side we have a vintage letter this is 1947 and it has a letter on the inside and then one of these little um, journaling booklets that I made and it has just all nice blank pages to journal in. And this is, um, it's technically a floating journaling card. Uh, you can journal on the back, but it also has a little pocket here and then you can journal here too. And of course, if you want, you can add some other little bits of ephemera in this and then you can clip it anywhere you want in the journal or you can glue it down to make your own tuck spot and this is another one of those pages that folds completely out so this is basically just like the other one has a little um button here um in the back we have a little journaling card this one has lines on it i used i made it with you know with an index card and then on the inside we have a vintage um, stock bin card and that's a Tim Holtz card and this I just glued down a corner so that way you can journal here you can journal on the back and then it's kind of neat on the front and here's another one of those three tucks so in the back we have one of the vintage keyboard cards and this hasn't oops has not been posted, but it is vintage. It's actually really yellowed on this side too, which is really cool. And I mean, and look at, <laughs> you can see from the cars and even just like the way the room is decorated, definitely vintage. And this is one of the tags that I made as well as this one. I, I made this tag with one of the little paper dolls. And just like the other one, this folds up. a little tab again decorated the wallpaper here I just I made it you know kind of fun you could journal here I mean you can still journal there and there too um, and this is just like the other one here is a vintage this is actually antique because it's from 1914 so that is an antique postcard and just like the other one this flips open and there's a little card in there that you can write on another little children's book page and tab places to journal here is an elephant how cute oh my gosh so adorable this another tab here so you know this opens out so there's plenty of room for journaling and then this is just decorated on the back Another decoration down there. Oh, here. These um, are little Tim Holtz ephemera pieces, but it's cute. It has little mushrooms and the butterfly. Um, and this little flip down here, we have um, a little... This is not vintage. It's only from 1997, but it's so cute. I mean, it's made to look vintage, but it's not. But perfect journaling spot. And then here is a, uh, an invoice, 1933. So that is definitely vintage. And another T for tent. And here is um, an authentic calling card. And in the back, some more pages to journal on. And then more journaling space. What I decided is I want to use, I have so many book pages. I want to use more book pages and then just add journaling spots. Um, so that way they are usable. You know, it's fun to use in a journal, but then sometimes I feel like there's really no writing space. So if you just stick on some coffee dyed paper, you can enjoy the vintage book page, but you can also journal on it too. Here's a little fabric flip 
This also can go up, but you can also write on there. And then here is a tag. This is um, fabric on the front, and then another one of these tags here. And I believe that's the last page. It is. So this journal here, I believe I named it Quilted Patterns um, in my Etsy, and it is available if you are interested. I will leave a link to this journal in the description box below. So I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough of this journal. Um, I'm so loving this cover, really neat. And I love that it's plain. Like I didn't need to dress it up or anything, but I think all the different shapes and patterns and colors, I think that just is really cool. So, <laughs> so as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.